Passive safety is one of the main focus areas for the next generation of reactors. Unlike your car where you can just turn off and walk away, when a nuclear power plant turns off, there's about a two week period where you have residual decay heat that needs to be removed from the core. I lead a team of researchers that specializes in thermal hydraulics and materials testing for the nuclear industry. These passive safety systems rely on natural phenomena like buoyancy to achieve their cooling function, and there's no reliance on active power sources or human intervention. Essentially, these systems are always operating and they're always on, and they're designed to remove the decay heat in full and keep the reactor safe during any conditions. So passive safety systems have many benefits to operating power plants. They're simple, they can be reliable, and they can perform the safety function in an accident situation. But they often exhibit some complex uncertainties related to instabilities and phenomena, and that can be very difficult to predict with computer models alone. The Natural Convection Shutdown Heat Removal Test Facility is a large-scale thermal hydraulics program for the Department of Energy to evaluate the performance and safety of various decay heat removal systems. So the ASTF is extremely versatile, and we're able to capture the features of nearly all the active reactor types currently under development. We have a heated plate that simulates the walls of a reactor vessel. We have an insulated wall that simulates the concrete containment, and we have ample power capacity to generate the decay heat under nearly all circumstances. The program has a team of researchers and operators that keep the facility running year round. So we're currently testing two concepts, one that uses an air-based means of cooling and the other that uses water. We've collaborated with a number of U.S. industries to provide specific data sets unique to their operating conditions and designs. So our program generates high quality validation data for U.S. vendors to assess the performance of their systems and to approach the regulator for licensing applications. I'm really excited to work on this program because I get to run experiments on a world-class facility that provide meaningful data for the safety of the next generation of reactors.